Oke okay guys, kita lanjut ke game yang terakhir ya Antara Bigetron Beta melawan TNC Pro Team oh, MDL Indo lawan MPL PH guys ya Kita lihat aja guys Tiga kali berturut-turut ya guys Ini biasanya yang pakai barat menang guys Soalnya tadi gitu ya guys ya Yang pakai Fredrin selalu kalah guys Ini masa tim MPL kalah lawan MDL guys PH lagi ya <laughs> Oke lah kita lihat aja guys ya Yes. Sama sama dari purple buff ya. Yeah, ada Melissa, ada Moskov. If Zive makes a mistake dashing forward, especially when he has Bloom on him without the on hit effect, uh, he's gonna be real careful here. Nomad still has its inspire since we see Zive just trying to skew the lane in his favor with a quick level one trade. Uh, and that's why we saw Banting kind of neutralize it with the early rotation to bot. Lich will show up top, and that's gonna give Narashi a way better lane state. Just freezing the wave and making sure the hit doesn't get remotely close to take that experience. But in return, this Florin is suffering. Yeah, Finn, he's locked in this lane. It's very difficult for him to actually rotate out safely, especially since Ryzen. And let's not forget, Ben thinks especially just keeping tabs. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah. And I like Zav's, res uh, Zav's response, right? Every time Nomad tries to all in him, he just push him away. Push him away with the spear of uh, misery so he cannot attack the models. Uh, just to make sure that he's really, really annoying here, right? Look at this. Wow, okay, all right. Yeah, we're seeing a different side of Bigatron Beta. Really splitting up the resources, right? Three and two. No, it's, it's about the first turtle. Ben Ding's not even close to four, so at least there's no setter bridge, for TNC Pro Team. Nomad trying to trade with Zive. Zive willingly walking up. Oh, no. If Already winning the trade. Oh, had he just hit level 4 there, that would have been a guaranteed kill. He could still throw the spear down the lane against Matilda, but no, no doesn't find it. And Turtle Lynch will fall into the hands this, yeah. of Lynch. That's going to be first Turtle for Bigatron Beta. <laughs> they even clear out the mid wave. Ryzen wants to go for an invade, but uh, Bigatron Beta, they have backup. So this invade will not be successful. Can't do much about it, can't do much about it since Ben Things is on the opposite side of the map. That's another River Crab for Zive. Uh, again, I'm paying a lot of attention to Zive in his current lane state because, again, it seems like Bigatron Beta are just making a lot of decisions around him, but this time around, at least they are considerate towards Narashi. Uh, yeah, fight, uh, Zive is fighting with Inspire off cooldown. <laughs> no Daytona's welcome, though. Lynch did, pro uh, did uh, try to prompt it, but preempted, but uh, didn't find an angle to use it. At least Ryzen was able to win out on that Little Wanderer fight. Now catching back up in some EXP at the very least. And uh, Heads, this is this is kind of rough for him. Now that Narashi is a full level, he can actively trade. Yeah. Having a way better game compared to the previous one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Dan QT has been taking a lot of punishment, but oh, so much punishment in a matter of fact. Still holding on to the black shoes. Should be able to go for a recall. Interesting. So TNC Pro Team, they're just chipping away at Dan, and whenever they do so, they start making their way into enemy jungle and start scouting out for some free resources to steal away from Bigatron Beta, right? Because the lane and states dulu, haven't changed too much between Nomad and as well as Heads, right? On the opposite side, Zyve and as well as Narashi are completely fine with the current lane states as long as it maintains this way. No, we did get the Gold Crab. That should equalize. Well, that should allow him to catch up in terms of net worth just by a bit. But still, Zyve, he is yeah, half a level ahead. Almost a full level ahead. Yeah, I mean, that early recall coming in from Nomad, he ended up losing two minions off of it. And now I think that's a total of like, what, two <laughs> river crabs <laughs> to one uh, in favor of Zyve. Ada in kedua, guys. Yeah, Belum ada first blood, wow. guys. Again, the next is going to the black oh. shoot out, but they turn us welcome. Use Ryzen. He's going to have Bentley to take the aggro to protect Ryzen, but still Ryzen will go Ryzen down. Ryzen first blood yeah. for Dan QT. Oh, a mistake coming in from ah, Ryzen. He should not blood, have yes, yeah. back in. He saw Dan QT <laughs> use the black shoes and he thought, maybe, maybe I could set up my combo points to get a fat ultimate here. Doesn't achieve it and they lose the turtle because of it. 
and the, and the gold laners went on another inspired trade. Both for the battle spells. The young dapat, yes, yeah. on cooldown. This time Bentings will be at the bottom side, but of course for Big from Beta, Zyve has his own backup in the form of Finn. He, she has the he has the bloom available. So in fact, Beta, they're gonna be able to easily shove Nomad away. Yeah, the worst part about this lane, especially from Nomad's POV, is that even though he is trading equally in terms of like a uh, battle spell cooldowns, Zive wins out at the end as soon as Finn shows up to top him up for the amount of life lost in the lane. So these <laughs> trades technically <laughs> is just uh, paying credit, right, for the future. And put, putting yourself in a life deficit to eventually pay it back later down the line. Even for uh, we're looking at like what almost 6,000 gold advantage for Zai. Sikat lah. Purple buff. <laughs> the abilities, yeah. To commit the red tree to do it, but it will be back up for the next turtle. And uh, Zai's even got the window to recall because he shoved the wave so fast. Yeah, I mean, in comparison to Nomad, uh, I think Nomad, he needs to focus on these trades a little bit more, but Zyve not making it easy, and he has the advantage. Oh, Dan Finn, QT Finn, Finn. The natural echo, Treeman, Ping, Dan QT, it will get the Black Shoes off in nah. time. With the help of Blaze again, the Daytona's well, nah, but now the connects, and Zyve easily joins the Ooh, fight. Who said Ryzen? Goes over the Lynch. <laughs> Instantly, uh, the global presence from that Sphere of Destruction, they've got to be more aware of it, as Bloom has been given over to Zyve. And this time round, because they're able to pull away pressure from Zive because they basically brick walled him. They're allowed to get the tier one on top side, unlocking their Yu Tong. So this is going really well for Bigatron Beta. They can even unlock this bottom lane. As uh even I mean for well, no man he can't even walk up so Zive just literally free lane as far. Lynch is taking away as many uh, neutral camps as possible. Sorry, camps nearest to No Man's Land. Yep, yep. on top side. Oh, Narashi. Flash. Narashi. Black Dragon yeah. form committed. <laughs> that is just enough for Narashi to get away. Yeah, I bet things didn't want to actually go for the Vengeance because he would have procced the shot residue, making it more difficult. Oh, 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 flicker. Oh, flicker. And uh, he takes a petrified uh, in the face, Ben Tings might end up going down Jatun to the Vengeance. Ben Tings, Ben Tings! Ya, malah dia guys yang mati, ya Allah, Allah. Jangan terlalu over bro, ingat lawannya Yucong, Kocak. <laughs> Aduh guys, guys. Ngemes, guys, ngemes, guys. Ah, dia gak sadar ya guys ya, ada pasif ya, aduh. <laughs> Mana Ryzen mati juga ya guys ya, wala. These neutral fights are impossible for TNC Pro Team to actually win, especially in a 4v5 type situation here, right? They need Nomad to scale a little bit faster because yes, Lynch is kind of immobile as soon as he swallows Ryzen, right? But that's perfect. It allows models to be put behind Lynch and then Bigatron Beta can't walk up to uh, can't walk up to follow up with enough damage onto Ryzen to take him out in one fell swoop. And that's the main plan for TNC Pro. But so far, BTR have just been faster. Oh, oh. the spear actually cancelled the final slash. And now Ben Ting's in a very awkward position. You see Frederick walking up. He's gonna notice that his purple is missing. He's gonna walk away. He's gonna head back to the orange side of the map. Yeah. Good star shadow from Hatred to spot the bush. Again, you have Finn, you have Florin. And that's the flicker from Hatred. Yeah, he can't afford to get caught right now, right? He's currently 0-0 uh, and 0, but he is the highest damage in the league, current leaderboards. He's consistently poking out his opponents, but not enough when Florin is just topping up. Just the combat medic of the team doing some big work for Bigatron Beta to maintain this type of pressure. That will be Bigatron Beta taking the first tier 2 in the, on top side. That can allow them to set up for the next Lord. Spending in half an hour in the bottom lane, in the bottom end of the map. 4 0 so far in terms of kill, Bigatron Beta have not let TNC Pro team get anything. I mean, they're locked in. They're locked in for the win. They want to be able to get that four series win. Best of, sorry, four best of three series win to move <laughs> on into the challenge season as early as possible. <laughs> TNC Pro, they're not making it easy, of course, but definitely, uh, they definitely are more confident in making these individual plays, which so far have been punished. <sighs> Man, Bentings went for the conceal but end up losing half his health. Lagi ada Lord yang pertama guys ya. They didn't even land his ult. How did he set this off? Guys. I don't Apakah even think he can actually walk into this Lord, right? Uh, <laughs> wait, let's just double check the items here from Nomad specifically. Does he have the Golden Staff? No, he's just going to really pop that Golden Staff in comparison to Zyve who just finished uh, the Trinity build. Didn't even have boots, right? He 
went for extra armor. Really re realizing that it's so hard to man fight Pikachu beta. I mean, how, how does Ryzen walk up? I, I think if you walk up and you they have this burst you. Well, he has to walk up as if his team is behind him, right? That's why he's playing this. Wait. Final slash, forcing up Purify. That's a start. Pikachu beta, they can actually gonna reset the score if they want to. I'm gonna let it reset. No rush. Good reset. Good reset. There's a slow push down on bottom side that TNC Pro have to respond to it. That's why they're just going back and forth consistently. Bigatron beta, they hard shove mid lane, and now yeah. they're going to look for the rush here and instigate a fight. If they get this, that top inhibitor might go down. That dragon form committed from Bigatron beta. Looking for info to force TNC Pro yeah. team away. Lord is ready to red zone. Not as easy. What's the reason? Well, I hit the Jamadi. Double kill. Triple kill. Many of custom in it. Kasih menit, oh, walau benting konsil, flicker, ah, udah guys. Kasih paham sih, Fe. Buset, buset, cepet banget. Head, kamu jangan main-main head. Uh, spender slash-nya bagus sih, tapi alah. Eh, wah itu kalau kena, eh malah digasin. Ya udah, benting. Aduh, lagi dan lagi guys ya. Napsu amat guys. Oh, they're gonna rush this now. No problem. Thank you. T helping out his brother Lynch. Just make sure. Lynch, tips ban lo kena jebret lor. Oh, hampir aja. Nearby, just in case. But this is a pretty good scenario for Bigatron Beta. They're nine k ahead after two games of giving up the early game. Now on the eleventh minute, they are actually putting the hurt on the TNT Pro team. Still flawless in this game. How did as I bypass everyone? Where's the ult? Let's find out right here, right? He's by Pixel Brush. He throws it. It lands and it connects. Tombaknya pas banget ya guys. Enak banget guys. The shadow ended up so far behind him. So wow, I it hit. Surprisingly enough, it hit Ryzen, but it set the shadow even further beyond. Nah itu lah. Selain benting ya guys. Kalau dia agak ngegas lagi, mungkin nama naja guys. That's one way to get to the back. Eh itu astaga benting. All inhibitors on the track two already. Kita sebelas nol co. Jangan kasih kill. Biar jadi judul. Like just. Nomad gila si pe. Bukan gila. Buset 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 buset. Buset itu narasi jangan sampai mati woi. Narasi. Buset buset gg guys. Sepuluh kill tanpa balas aja. Dua belas minit doang co. Ini MPLPH loh guys ya, malah ni. Di bantah sama CP ya. Okey lah, kita lanjut ke match selanjutnya guys. Bye bye.